Okay, so today I'm actually a little bit shy of being 23 months. And the reason why I'm doing this is because um, I don't think I'm going to flat iron my hair again until February. So I'm going to do this as my two-year video I'm a month ahead. So I really don't think I'm going to be growing like crazy amounts by then. So this will be my two-year mark video at 23 months. Only because I just don't feel like flat ironing the hair. So this is it. Okay, guys? I'm still trying to figure out what works for my hair to flat iron. Uh, natural hair is new to me, flat ironing it, so I'm, I don't like blow drying the hair because when I was relaxed, I didn't blow dry it. I would just put the, the like the silicone leave in and there, wrap it at night, morning time, just put a light flat iron, but um, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. But this video today is really about um, my regimen and what I do. Okay, so... This is what I do, okay? Um, let's start on Sunday. So Sunday is my wash day. I will shampoo my hair on Sunday and it will be a conditioning shampoo, okay? Then I will rinse the hair out, okay? And I only shampoo with a sulfate. It's gotta have sulfate in there because I have hard water. As soon as I rinse it out, I step out of the shower. I don't even put conditioner in the hair yet. I will put a conditioner in the hair and then I leave the conditioner on in there. Okay, and that's how I moisturize my hair. Um, I will then feel the hair the next day. If it feels a little dry, then I condition again. Um, I have learned to layer my conditioner. So this will be like a distilled water. It has glycerin in there and olive oil. So that will be uh, going on with the conditioner. Um, the next day I will, I will also do, like I said, a conditioner as well and then spray it down. Anytime I put conditioner in my hair, I always spray it down with distilled water though. I never have it touching any tap water in between washes. The only time I touch the tap water is when I'm using a sulfate shampoo. That's the only time. Any other time that I put water in my hair, it'll be distilled water. Okay, and if I'm not shampooing, if I'm putting anything with oils in there, it's always distilled water. Okay, so during the week, distilled water, glycerin, conditioner, that's how I, I, uh, I moisturize my hair. And um, if I'm going to do like a wash and go, I always do it like say on a Thursday, Friday, and then I wash it on the Sunday because I find that the gel makes my ends tangle up, right? So I don't like that. So I try to do it. I try to moisturize my hair for like three, four days, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Do a wash and go with gel, then. Or if I'm more, if I'm gonna do the mixed elements, I can do it earlier on, and I put a lot of um, glycerin on top because I find if I don't put enough glycerin, the even the uh, the mixed silk gets a little stiff, and then my ends will become a little bit hard to deal with. And the reason why I like to do it at the end of the week is because I don't want to have to deal with matted ends too soon in the week before I have to wash it out. Okay, so basically I do that for four weeks, either or. I don't like to use gel all the time. And I don't like to use mixed silk, but I probably could like as long as I have like a lot of moisturizer and it doesn't get hard, I can use it. Or, but. What I'm trying to do really is I'd like to eliminate gel altogether and just use a conditioner. That's ideally what I want to do. So when the hair gets longer though, I will do that. So yeah, so that would be perfect. So if you're going to use just conditioner to define your curls, you can do that right from Monday right until Sunday. And I find sometimes if it's not too heavy, you can probably get away with two weeks without washing your hair. Um, so that's that. So try not to use too much gel consistently in a row. Try to mix it up. So you're using gel maybe once every two weeks, three weeks or something. And then use like a mixed silk, like a cream, uh, cream, a cream, uh, definer. And then maybe one, another week you can use, like I said, conditioner. But all in all, I want to just stick with conditioner eventually. 
and just use gel just for the hairline that's it so that's my goal I also would like to stop um, blow drying my hair okay I'm still trying to figure that out I think I'm gonna have to like um, wash the hair put the silicone in there braid it uh, stretch it and then use the brush and just flat iron at one time okay so I'll do that for like four weeks but if my and then I'll shampoo every Sunday so every Sunday I shampoo with a conditioning shampoo okay so it doesn't strip my hair and I find if, if I shampoo my hands and my my um, if I shampoo my hair my ends aren't responding to the conditioning shampoo then I will turn to the clarifying shampoo because if the, sh the if the conditioning shampoo isn't working at that point you need to clarify so that's what I do so that usually is around four to six weeks right um, like I said if Sunday is not like written in stone if my ends are really 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 bad because I have styling product buildup on the ends then I will wash sooner but those are just like little indications for me to look out for. Styling product is notorious for matting up my ends. Notorious, especially gel and mousses. Mousses and gels, notorious for that. So I try to limit those as much as possible. Styling creams, you're better off. Um, just make sure you know you moisturize it properly. Feel for the ends, and if the ends are in need, wash. And basically, that's it. I moisturize are with uh, conditioner, and it's the leave-in conditioners. No, no, not the leave-in. It's the regular rinse out conditioners that I'm using, and that's pretty much it. I don't think I'll be doing too many more videos um, because my regimen is going to stay the same. It's not going to change uh, until I can wean myself off of gel, and I think the only way I'm going to do that is if. The hair gets longer and I have much a good hang time. I find though gel does shrink up my hair a lot more than conditioner, so I think it will come pretty soon. And like I said, the only place I want the gel is the hairline. And then, uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to stop blow drying my hair would be the next step. Okay, so if you don't see me for a while, it's not that I'm neglecting you guys. It's just that I don't think I have any more. I have figured out my hair to a T. I can't say anything else that I can learn, but if I do learn something new, I'll let you know. But I've got it down pat right now, and my regimen's gonna be the same. The only thing I'm gonna be doing next year is more uh, styling the hair, okay? So that's the only thing I'm gonna do, and then of course, in three months, because Mr. Creole Adonis and I are doing this little race thing to make back, I will flat iron every three months. I'm 23 months right now, and um yeah so to your mark i don't know what i'm gonna do i don't even know what to do a video i should though right i might put this up on i might put this up on there only because i, I don't want to flat out my hair and i did flat out my hair again yeah i did flat out my hair again so let me just show you i flat out my hair again i was at my mom's house and i was like so was my hair like this when you uh, pressed my hair back in the day? Well, first thing she saw me, she goes, I thought you were going to relax your hair again. I said, well, I think she might have perm. I thought you wasn't going to perm me here. I said, well, I didn't. This is a, you know, a flat iron. She doesn't know what flat iron is. She goes, you mean press? I said, yeah, press, <laughs> right? And then she said, you never burn yourself. And I said, no, because the flat iron is, you know, I had to explain all of that to her. So I was like, so when I was a kid and you pressed my hair, she's like, I never pressed your hair. I said, no, you did press my hair. She goes, I never press your hair. I said, you probably did once or twice. I said, was it this long when you pressed it? She said, no, yeah, you did longer and it tick. And I never like deal with it head because you have too much hair. I'm never like it. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, I said, well, we gotta beat it. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Like I said, I have nothing else to add. This is my regimen. It's it's built in stone. It's working for me. I'm not going to change it. And I'm useless to you guys at this point. The only thing you guys can do is look through my older videos to see how I got here. And look forward to my styles. And look forward to when I fought out in three months. It'll be February. I know it's not really three months, but three months to when... What is this? Um, it'll be November then, right? When I upload this. So November in three months. It'll be February, right? 
So I will do that then. Just spot on every three months, look out for the styles, and I think my styles are gonna be off the chain, girlfriends. I got some creative things, so sub, subscribe. Stay tuned, and I'm not going far. And I'm still gonna be checking, so if you guys have any questions, anything you need help with, I'm here, okay? And I'm always happy to help. All right, so let me just do another last spin for you. It's really heavy though, eh? Like, I put a lot, I put a lot of, um, I put a lot of um, stuff in there, hold on. See, I, I put this one in first because I really find it's light, the Proclaim one. And I found it was light, and then I put this one in. This one's really heavy, so I don't know. But then I just braided it, made it dry like 50%, and then I blow dried it, and then I just flat iron it. I didn't add any more, and this is what it turned out to. So I'm liking it. This is my style right here with the center part. I look like Pocahontas. Anyways, guys, <sighs> YouTube, you've been good to me. I'm natural. Never thought I could do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it strong, too. Look at mama. <laughs> All right. I'll see you. Bye. Thank you.